Good morning. In today's video, I will be continue Dynamo course for a beginner and I will give another example of uh, the practical use of uh, a spherical array system. And specifically in this video, I will be talking about making horizontal and vertical uh, louvers. So let's just start by uh, making a point by spherical. So this is the point by spherical coordinates and I will keep the coordinate system as the default one. In uh, phi, I will be uh, using uh, a range and I will use from uh, angle of 50 to 60 and I will use each two degrees. And I'll connect that to phi. For theta, I will use uh, an entire 360 rotation each uh, five degrees radius uh, I'll be using I don't know a slider I don't know maybe five enough always make sure not to go you know too much if you know how much maybe 20 or 30 but don't go as high as a hundred you don't need that most of the time so uh, that will give me you know the points but we need really need to change the lacing to cross product and as you can see, now we have a slice of a sphere, uh, specifically with a phi, uh, which is the angle with the Z axis from 50 to 60, and uh, each two degree and a 360 rotation for the theta, and each five degree, it start up to create a column, as you can see here in this, uh, you know, uh, in this diagram or in this uh, view. Now, the way we actually add the lines to create the louvers, it's, by the way, it's a good example that we really need to start up with adding curves. This is a good beginning. And again, it's a practical, uh, you know, knowledge. So if you don't understand the exact tools, again, I will start up uh, very soon to explain all types of curves in uh, Dynamo. So I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to use a polygon by point. And this guy here will generate for me a closed polygon as, you know, in this case, they will be a circles here. And they are closed as a one entity, which is really good. And that's what I really need to, you know, to get this circle shape as a one object. And I will just add a curve exit row to that. So the height is uh, too much, so probably I will change that to manual. And I will add a slider here. Maybe it's the time to change, you know, uh, the title of it. And I think one is too much. So I'll go maybe, um, and let's say 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. Let's see how much it's uh, suitable for it. Let's run that. Yep. I think 0.1 is more than enough so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and you can see that uh, a surface has been generated here and they have no thickness indeed uh, in in you know in regarding as the material thickness but it's just an extrusion of 0.1 
on each you know of those circle generated now uh, as simple as that you can just go ahead and add a surface it's a new node dot thickness and what this does it simply take this surface which represent these rings and give them thicknesses generating a solid and that's what you need so when you export that to Revit you have a 3D elements not just uh, 2D surfaces and of course it will be in a desperate need for you to generate the thickness so I'm just double clicking that and let's say thickness I'll keep it 0.1 and I'll add that to the thickness input both sides mean it is going to extrude all the way that way or all the way that way or on both sides it will be equal I will keep it as true whatever the thick whatever the, the it's actually giving for me I'll run that and I will see that uh, now the surface is actually turned into a solid and as you can see it's really thick so probably uh, 0.1 is too much maybe 0.0, 0 I don't know three or two let's try that again that's much better you can see now the rings are 3d instead of just the plain surfaces now if we plan to you know copy paste and that's a very smart thing to be done so I'm gonna copy paste that cut the connection of course uh, specifically with uh, you know the the points we really need now here to transpose the point so instead of them going that way horizontally uh, they will go like vertically so I'm gonna feed that to the list transpose and I'm gonna connect that directly to it and I'm gonna hit run again that will generate for us the vertical louvers with a couple of errors of course uh, let's see what type of uh, you know errors we will get from that and I'll explain for you why the first thing you start noticing which is a good indication for having something wrong it's taking a little bit too long I know Dynamo is very famous by you know its ability to consume lots of resources and sometimes the silliest and the simplest way uh, or simplest task you give it takes too long yeah I know that I, I've been there but uh, it could be a good indication that you did something wrong and you have to fix even if the result was a, a bit correct as you can see or it's look like correct as you can see so let me explain what happened here first it's look like okay but it's not so you can see the delay caused by something really really uncomfortable you know let's 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 go ahead and turn off actually the curve and also you can tell uh, there's a mistake here by you know having this yellow but anyway let me see you see those things you see those rings here they, or the curves they are actually closed back the first and there to the first point so it's closed geometry it's a polygon as I said and so it should be closed and going to be extrude directly toward the z-axis so the geometry are uh, you know intersect with each other this is a very bad thing to be happen and you don't want that so first thing we really need to get rid of this guy here we don't need it to be closed so we need to think of something else now we have a poly curve instead of a polygon this is an important thing uh, by of course points so you're gonna get this guy and if you read it or if you are too lazy of reading it you're gonna see that it get from the input thing it get input for you it need inputs from you sorry and it also needs something as a boolean uh, that means true or false to ensure that whether you're going to use a connect last to first this is what we really need and it will generate for you a poly curve so it's a one entity uh, made of a smaller lines or smaller points let me click on that this is promising so i will get rid of this turn off this guy or instead just you know hit shift and click and move that guy here uh, let me remove that and hover above that and see it's false so it's not the hundred percent not gonna you know connect the first to the end now let's hit run again and see what will happen 
I bet you noticed very well that it didn't take too much time as it did in the previous, uh, you know, polygon thing. So that's a good indication that you almost fixed the thing that causing Dynamo, you know, to get sad and, you know, take too much time to do. Uh, now that sound really much better, as you can see. Now the last thing, this guy is fixed, so it's not yellow anymore. But based on my experience in here, I know that the first guy here, wherever it is, where are you? Here we go, zero here. It will be, you know, having an overlap with the last one because usually it's gonna consider zero as an element and 360 as an element and they are both the same thing and I'm too lazy to make that 355 five. so I'm gonna get here the last one and you're gonna see that it's actually located in the same place deselect this guy and simply in the search bar here in the library just say or just write sorry drop last item uh, there is a uh, Lots of uh, nodes that can do that. I think this one is good from uh, Clockwork. You have to install this package, it's useful. So very easy and lovely one. It's gonna just cancel the last one and notice that we have a 73, so just like that. If you are not going to send that to Rivet or there is no construction or calculating uh, step further than that, don't worry, you don't need to do that. But uh, it's better to get to get the habit and to do things correctly by avoiding the overlap geometry uh, and that's really you know uh, really incorrect see here 72 see here 73 and so we managed to drop and get rid of the last item so this is guys what we have you can go ahead and of course you know uh, if you want turn off the horizontal or vertical one so you can get you know a horizontal uh, horizontal louvers uh, or you can just go ahead and uh, have the vertical one instead it depends on how on what you want as you can see that's the vertical ones okay or you can you know turn them both the horizontal and vertical it depends on what type of design you need and get the you know get the required geometry as you can see here in the in the in the screen anyway guys if you have any question or any comment please drop that i'm happy to answer you thank you very much for watching me and have a good day